Now it's fair to say that these things look pretty weird. The brand new tailor-made truss. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, guys, we are joined today by the putting guru, which is Mr. Chris Dennis. Chris? Good morning. How are you doing? Good to get on the channel again, mate. Very good. Today, guys, we have... Um, hmm. What do you think? Controversial. Controversial. I think it's fair to say that these are going to get a lot of attention. Yep. And I'm a big believer that all publicity is good publicity. So I think it's True. possibly a good thing that TaylorMade have done. There is obviously a lot of science behind this, so it's not just a strange looking putter. There are four different models, the TM1, the TM2, the TB1 and the TB2. I think that's right. That is right. I've done, I've done well there, haven't I? On fire. Absolutely. So there's two mallet versions and there's two blade versions. And what you'll find is TaylorMade do offer these truss putters in four different options. You can get a blade style head and a mallet style head both in a centre shaft and in a heel shaft. Chris, you're the putting wizard, you're the putting guru. Yeah. Wizard? Well, I'm a wizard. He's a wizard. What are your initial thoughts? Uh, again, looks wise, again, not a fan uh, myself of looking at it, but the feel off the face, again, that one rolled nice. It certainly feels nice and it swings quite well. And one of the big things that TaylorMade are saying about these putters is that they are very much tour inspired. So Rory McIlroy's tried them, yeah. John Rahm's tried them. The first time I saw one of these, I remember seeing a picture of Tiger trying one. Now, you that's can't right. you can't give Tiger a new putter and then expect people not to see it, can you? No, that's true, yeah, I do remember Tiger. Yeah, even if he only used it on the putting green. So another factor of this is that, yes, it might look strange looking at it like this, but then what TaylorMade do say, if we look at these putters down now at address, they're saying that actually it does look just like a traditional putter. Obviously, if you go for the mallet head or the blade head, yep. it just looks pretty normal, which is which is pretty good to be fair. One thing which I'm not a fan on, and I'm never a fan on this, I don't know where you stand, Chris, is the insert, why is it blue? Yeah. I, I think massively that coloured inserts do just kind of cheapen things a little bit. That's personal opinion, that's all subjective. Some people might love a blue insert. The old Rossi had a red insert. Red one, yeah. Remember red, that one? Yeah. So they are kind of sticking more traditional towards the tailor made values with that. But for me, I'd like to see it more kind of just one colour piece, one yeah. gunmetal grey. Oof, gunmetal. So, Chris, as well as the putters looking a little bit funny, you've got another bit of an issue with them, haven't you? Well, Truss just doesn't sound, well it sounds different. It does um, sound different. I don't know where maybe it's come from. So the word trust, this is actually a setup conversation as well. And I actually do have on my phone here the meaning of the word trust. So I know the word trust as, and if you Google the word trust, you'll find that a house uses trusses for roof framing. Trusses are prefabricated triangular wooden structures used to support the roof. You can span a large distance with a truss and the truss transmits all of the weight through the exterior walls. You'll notice I had to read that because I couldn't memorise it. I'm not a, not, not a builder. But if a house uses a truss to get all the weight down through the exterior walls, Chris, what must the putter do by using a truss? So again, what that's going to help us do, I'm guessing, is going to spread the MOI throughout the face of the putter. Exactly that. So then on off centre hitch, you're not going to get as much twist, you're not going to get as much torsional resistance. No, exactly. And that's the big story behind these putters, isn't it? You can pretty much strike them most places on the face and still get a little bit more, or should we say a lot more, Consist forgiveness. Yeah. Consistency and forgiveness, absolutely. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So guys, you heard us speak earlier about the blue insert, which I'm not overly a fan of. Now, the blue insert is called Cobalt Blue. It's the pure roll technology, and the idea behind it is that it combines 45 degree grooves with a softer polymer insert, and that's supposed to increase top spin and provide better forward roll and help your ball start and stay on its intended line. So, apart from being blue, it does a pretty good job. So another thing when down at the ball, for those guys who set up with the handle behind, you can see the face. So again, we can start to see how okay, I might have my hand set a little bit backwards. The same if we go forwards and people have a forward press, we can start to see clearer that that's occurring. So similar to the old Seymour putters where you'd have the red dot on the heel, and if yep. the hands weren't in the right place, then you'd be able to tell that it's not quite right. So you get that extra little bit of feedback as well with that. Exactly, so it helps you square the face and again use the loft that's on the putter, not adding loft, not taking off loft, so again we can use it naturally 
the magic screen. Oh, it's a nice feel, it certainly is. Ooh, that's a nice sound. So, James, how does this one feel compared to the other? I massively prefer this shape actually, and that's uh, if you want to pan to the hole, that's two out of two actually. Two so, this is for three out of three, and Further it does feel three. like I can just take it back a lot squarer. Oh, Classic for the camera. But basically, two out of three, you're going to take that? Yeah, exactly. So, again, it's a different shape, but again, looking down at it. I think personally, I prefer this shape because this is the, the kind of half one. So, it, there is obviously the TM2 where the truss goes more of the way along. That's a little bit more kind of intrusive on my eye. I don't quite prefer it as a look. And then obviously looking down, this does look, because obviously you'd never try and see, you'd never try and see the heel when you look down at the club, do you? You'd always look for the top line here. So as I put it down, I've got no problem seeing the top line. The shaft probably covers the rest of it. And then from there, I feel like it, I'm getting the benefit of, oh, we've got another one, we've got another one. We get the benefit of the technology without necessarily the hindrance of the looks. Oh, God, every time we film it, it misses. Every time. Game of snooker now, try and get that one in. Billiards. No, four left. Oh dear. <laughs> Snap it. So Chris, another part of these cutters which TaylorMade have told us about is the adjustable weights in the sole. So having adjustable weights in drives is cool. You can set a drive to draw, fade, you can do yeah. chain CG, but with a putter, I'm not exactly going to set it to draw, am I? So what is the idea behind the adjustable weights in these putters? So again, the adjustable weights, we can start to look at maybe putting heavier weights in if we're on faster greens, so in the summer, we might use heavier weights, because again, we have to do less work than with a putter. In the winter, we might go lighter, so again, we can feel like we can give that a bit more of a swing. So you're saying I could put lighter weights in and really perfect my cover drive in winter? Exactly. Top cricketer. Now, interestingly, I have hit one out the heel there and one out the toe, and they've gone a pretty similar distance, so that's... Um... Yeah, so again, it's a sign of what they're trying to do here, that again, if we can get a lot more forgiving by spreading the weight out through the face, yeah. we're going to see that off strikes are going to go the same distance. And generally, the whole idea behind what they're doing here is by having two points of contact in the head rather than just the one, yeah. obviously that then covers 50% more of the putter than your traditional one neck in there, so. Exactly, yes. So something else we can do with the weights is we can put different weights in the toe and the heel, so that'll be fit for your stroke. For, so for somebody who struggles to square the face up at impact, we can look at putting a weight in either the heel or the toe to encourage that to close a little bit faster or stay open for somebody who closes it too quick. So it gives us more options of what we can do to fit your stroke. So to be fair guys, I've done quite a lot of putting today with the bladed version, the TB2. Chris has had the TM1 and I personally think that actually as soon as you put this down, once you play maybe half a dozen putts with it, you sort of forget that that truss is there, you forget that that kind of big triangular thing is there. Chris, do you find that as well? So obviously you've been, you've been using the TM1. Yeah, I think as soon as you start to look down after a few times, it starts to feel normal. Again, the look down just looks like a normal putter. So yeah. it, it takes away your initial like, ooh, uh, different. But when you see it down, it looks pretty good. And personally for me, I think that's a huge benefit where it's going to have shelf appeal, be that good shelf appeal or bad shelf appeal. The main thing is that people get them in the hands, they try them, and then from there, obviously you can make your own decision yourself. But personally, I think these could. I think it might be one of them where maybe the first generation doesn't do amazingly well because, well, it's the first generation and people are just kind of a bit shocked. But then I think the second generation, Chris, could do pretty well. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be, you guys might get this version, love it and get the next one. And then the other guys will start to get on the back of it, especially when they see them putting wet. Like this. <laughs> so guys, that is a first look at the brand new TaylorMade truss putters. Here we've got the TaylorMade TB2 and the TM1. So if you do want to see us put these maybe on the cap toe system and maybe measure energy loss and see just how much difference it makes hitting it out the toe and the heel, we have taken them out on the putting green and we've been in here in the studio at Waterfront Golf Club. And I'm quite impressed with the feedback. I'm, I'm impressed with the feel more than anything. Yep. So I think one thing you have to do is you can't judge it on its first appearance. I think it's yeah. one of those things where I don't know about you, but when you see a new car on the road and you think, that's awful, yeah. that is horrible. Who, who designed that? That's awful. 
two, three months later, you find yourself test driving one, you get used to the looks, you love the feel of it, yeah. and you go and buy one, just like you with that Ferrari. Do you remember that? Exactly, just the same as that. But very much, I saw this putter and I thought, well, I don't like the look of it. But again, performance-wise and feel, certainly worked very well out on the green, and it's something that I don't mind the look of when I look down at it. Guys, and on that note, thank you so much for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed it. If you do want to see us put it on the Catso system, this is Chris's baby. He knows it inside out, so yeah. I'd like to think that maybe we could measure a bit of energy loss on there in correlation with maybe just a standard putter head. Then make sure you hit those comments below and let us know. Make sure you follow Chris on Instagram, and there's a rumour going around you're going to start your own channel as well. Well, it's the word on the street, maybe in the next month or so. Next month or so. So in August, then you might see Chris put his first video up. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content, and when we'll see you. Well, I'll see you on Saturday. But we'll see you then tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>